Yes. I gotta say, this is probably like my favorite episode, like of the season. It was good. I really enjoyed this episode, and like, uh, basically built off of everything that's happened this season. So, um, Man, really honestly, pretty dude, serious here, guys. He was about I don't to think kill somebody. Anything happened? This we <laughs> saying that perfect. If you said that last episode, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, cool." Like you know, we got the cat. And no, we made, honestly, we made a guild. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, please, please explain though. I, I, I say, wanna... Sorry, Brian. Were you gonna say something? No, I was. I was just joking. Oh, oh man, oh, okay. this episode was very good. Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it was. Very good. Uh, I knew you were joking. I thought I just thought you were gonna say. I thought there was that something was very more convincing. Here. I was just like, oh my. Yeah. Did we watch yep. the same episode? Like, oh man. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the problem. These inside jokes sometimes they don't they don't hit. Um, uh, Tizzle just asked in chat to understand the being of Roxy. Is it just basically like yeah. be? She's like she took the bolt basically, to um the Asura Kingdom and then I meet up with Rudy, didn't she? Well, no, no. Before that, yeah, no, no, like what does that mean? Oh, yeah. to, like the uh, message board and they yeah, basically part. showing like all the people okay. who are dead, oh. missing, all that stuff. Yeah. So it, it wasn't just Rudy and his gang, right? It, yeah. That oh, that summoning oh, blast yeah. happened, it happened everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, teleported. Like, yeah. yeah, I thought that was really. I thought that was actually pretty cool to see back, like what, like what everything looks like. Yeah. So Except I, I first thought Roxy like showed like looked younger. I don't know why. I don't know if it was something with the animation. I thought like I was like, wait, uh, is this in the past? It was just hmm. me. Oh, don't worry. There hasn't been enough Roxy. So For yeah. anything so, like, oh yeah, go ahead, David. I was gonna say like, so I'm surprised how much how involved like his family is. In like, I guess with what's going on with the plot because usually the family is always like sidestep in the plot, but here like mm-hmm. we have like half his family missing, and then Paul with his like with his sister has to go looking for her. So like, so I really like how like they're really, really they're really like um involving, yeah, like a major like you know a major uh, part of the the group into this plot, and so uh, that's making me wonder too like if if. Is there a poll like, like like any character deaths? Like if they if one of the family members just end up dying before they even get reunited, is there gonna go with that angle or not? Yeah, well, so think... far I think it's just missing. It's just missing, but like yeah, I just didn't... missing. Like they don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, like you know, I wasn't expecting. Are, like right. I wasn't expecting things to be this bad. So I wonder, like, how serious are they gonna uh, yeah, take it? Yeah, I mean, it definitely gives gravity to this event that occurred. You know, it wasn't just siloed to what we saw with Rudy and them. Yeah. Um, but it, I think more so for me, I really enjoyed that we get to see this other side of Paul because, you know, in the beginning in, in Rudy's youth and everything, we get to see like, obviously, we know he's this great adventurer. But as we were shown in the beginning, like he's he's basically just a big perv that, you know, is just there kind of, you know, making comedy. But I think this was the first time in his note that we really see that all bullshit aside, he really cares, you know, obviously for his very family serious. and those impacted. Yeah. And yeah, he's very serious. He's saying, hey. I know I don't have the best perception in the world. So that maybe thinks, you know, whatever he did when he was with, you know, the Black Fang or whatever the name of the group was, mm-hmm. it may not have been, you know, oh, okay. we're back. Okay. We're back. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, what a miracle right. worker. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So it was basically like these, you know, like for the, I'm not sure where it cut off, but um, Man of Disaster, like the, it uh, affected the whole Fatoa region, which is basically kind of like affecting like the whole, like if it affected like a whole state. Uh, so it just kind of comparison, like how you said, to Justin that it's uh, Fangs of the Black Wolf. Yeah. Just catching um, up with chat. And then, so. and then we get to see, you know, Roxy meeting uh, two of the party members, right? Is that what we were alluded to? Of Dwarf yeah. and uh, another yeah, waifu. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the, they, were, they were the... The warrior and the cleric? Yeah, mm-hmm. they were Dwarf. in the, the silhouette yeah. before, right? That's what they're alluding to? Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah I like they're, it, so. they're the other members of the yeah. Black Wolf. Dude. Oh, so, okay, so they're not actually going to where... Uh, Rudy is on. They're just. Well, they have no idea a... where they are. Okay, no. Oh, it, it looked like it was the same. The same yeah, shot. Like they're both it, going to the Sorkin. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it sounded like. I, they I guess were. they don't. Well, so I knew that yeah. at the end, but yeah, I was curious. Like, how do how do they know where? I, guess we, I, guess oh, I don't think they know. Yeah. I think it's just a coincidence. Like, or maybe, okay, yeah, okay, or maybe that's what I thought. Yeah, or maybe how you guys were explaining it. Maybe it just looks very similar, and we're just just thinking that it's the same place. It could be completely two different places. We just don't know yet. Well, no, I think uh, it definitely is the same place, given how, like, when they showed Rudy and the group arriving, yeah. and they showed, like, the port very distinctly of this town, and then, you know, they show yeah. Roxy and the, the two members also arriving there on boat. If, but, anyways... If this I, happens, I, this this party's about to get really sick. <laughs> so, if right? they actually meet up, damn, they have their own, like, uh, 
uh, just beast ass group. Oh, Sorry, and Dave, then, go ahead. yeah, no, no. Tizzle gave a, a lot of better context of Paul said specifically in his letter that he would yeah, search the search. Milis mm -hmm. continent. So they're yep. searching different areas. So they're, you know, search party so, spreading across yeah. their, their okay. efforts. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. I didn't remember which continent. I, I did. I do remember him saying he was going somewhere. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. that. Yeah, yeah um, he, was, he was going to Zenith's homeland. Yeah. So. Right. And right. then yeah, because they. I mean, this one, this episode, a bunch of new, no, a bunch of new places, new characters, everything. But anyway, sorry, David, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the one thing I want to bring up is um is basically oh, like, okay. uh the the hunting quest they're doing with with like Rudy and oh I mean basically like with uh, the monster and like i i really like how it was a nice it was like it was such a contrast to last week's episode where last week we basically we had rudy lecturing um Ujured about and how like he had to like explain things to to, to rudy or, or or no rudy had to explain things to Ujured about how you need to do things this certain way and now like this episode really it really backfired on rudy and we see and like we see, like I mean, Ruger, like he was, he was yelling at Rudy, like always about like saving kids. But it really, like, it was such a powerful message this time, like because Rudy understood like the weight of like everything that just happened. What? Well, so the thing is, I kept thinking like that, that Falco when, guy got fucked. Yeah, when yes, he kept saying like right. when when Rudy kept saying hold, hold, and like thinking, what are you waiting for? I was like, and then uh, it's, where is it's like, he, oh, we're he, gonna wait till he, things are pretty was, dire. Then immediately, he was boom, thinking like he could. He was thinking he could like save him at the last second, but I just I saw mean, it didn't work out. <laughs> I mean, did you see how fast those fucking things moved? He wasn't thinking about yeah. that, so no. I yeah. mean, it's just his point of like he just had this confidence, I guess, in himself. Yeah, as that, as you all just very said, poor completely judgment. backfired. Yeah, everything and was backfired. It resulted in the worst thing that he got upset at Rougiard for for killing somebody, you know, too quick. Like, and then this was the complete opposite of you didn't save yeah, somebody quick true. enough, true. and now yeah. look at the result of your inaction yeah. yeah yeah i know i thought that was the whole thing was like really well done you know like i just remember too like how like i was saying like this whole time like at least last couple, last couple episodes how i was like you know why are you following the advice of this guy i can't you know don't you want to do things yourself and i was like man maybe you should just start following other people's advice because it hasn't really worked out for you like <laughs> no no let, let, let's be fair right like he he has the right idea it's just execution was bad and for someone who doesn't have, say, battle experience, uh, or like not as a brilliant war tactician, you can't really blame Rudy for what he's been doing. No, so, I just well, the whole I, thing okay. he just he just he just felt like you know he just had to do it like all on his own, which when really he completely forgot there's two other party members with him. It's he's not right. up, you know, on his own, which so, I thought like that whole thing at the end was really I thought that like that was really good too, where he just kind of realized like you know they're they're dead end like it's the full team. Yep. Yeah, so, it's it's a, it's a stepping stone for him in a yeah, sense. I mean, so. Okay, like uh, character growth. This is like I feel, I feel I just feel like this time though it was such a huge, much more impact than like than just like than like the when he saw like uh the first time when he saw someone get beheaded with with Ghislaine, and then the, the mm -hmm. second time he saw like the the ant or like the bug person like get beheaded like this right. third, this this time like seeing like uh the other guy uh from the other adventures who just died like that. I, I feel like this time is much more impactful. Like, well, yeah, because like, he could have prevented it too. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a bit. Yeah. It's one. It's uh, a, uh, like, more so. Go just, ahead, Brian. I feel like this one, like David said, was a lot more impactful to me because Rudy himself knew that it was his fault that he died. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was, it was preventable. Like, he was an innocent kid just dying because he got too greedy about the timing. And how it would look and feel if they got in just before they're about to die. So it was like yeah. he just yeah. got really greedy for the fame. Yeah. If anything, it's really it's it's, it's a big reality check, like we've all said, and it's more so kind of for Rudy. Like Rudy is a 32 year old man. Like let's not forget that. And you yeah. know, it may be something that he, as coming into this world, thinks that he knows kind of you know how things play out it's you know been brought up multiple times in the past of like you know how he would get out of conversations or how he would think like oh you know i kind of know how this would work in the real world where he's yeah. from you know that this is how things play out and now he's trying to adapt that to this new world and it really is showing like this this ain't you know earth or japan like yeah. you are in yeah. a different place there are consequences and you have it directly now experienced that and so what are you going to do about that and well like... i thought like the 
uh, sorry, dude, real quick. Uh, the, uh, the other effect I thought was really well done too, where Kurt let because Rui Jared was also losing the like the, where he just kept th- seeing them as children, and then Kurt kind of gave him the realization where I'm go- we're actually adventurous, back, like kids. Like I thought that was also that was also awesome as well. Uh, sorry, David, go ahead. Also mentioned too, like how again, like this, like this bites, this backfires when like when Full Jack Horseman shows up and like Fucking again, <laughs> like just shows them like how like he like Rudy thought he was like playing like being smart or playing smart and they just backfired on them and he was and and then this this and i gotta say like this also um gives more uh development to um to uh user as well so because he was because rudy was about ready just to to go off and then and user just like he he realized what was up and he he just like i don't know like (laughs) The Superman glasses came yes, off. Yes, the Superman glasses came off, but like <laughs> that's Behold. a good way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but, I, I, mean, I loved it though. But yeah, yeah. He, I think I think he, I think he realized at that moment too how how um how narrow like or how tunnel vision he was on just protecting like them oh, yeah. because they're kids. I think he realized that Rudy was trying to do do his best too. So like so many yeah. there's like oh, yeah. so many like character developments in this episode. So. Like. <laughs> true tizzle <laughs> yeah honestly like like it's still like i know i would have defeated the purpose like kind of like of the whole message of this whole thing if the horse if bojack would have died but i still wanted it so bad and it, was, it just felt so close <laughs> but, if, if anything if it's like alt i'm sure that's going to come to bite them in the ass later in the future uh, dude i don't know like they're they seem absolutely terrified about this guy like it just i mean even though you you, know, you think you would have known but it's just like just watching them flee even like kind of like the message with Kurt in them where you saw this man save you and you still were like were, and you were still just like struck with fear you know I, that, that, I think that, it was dark too oh, go ahead David I was gonna, that's a good way to show really show how like the bad reputation how afraid they are of like they don't know anything about like like of like this, this superbs or whatever they just like know the story so that's yeah that's like the mindset like, like that really has to fight and again like just shows like how how like much like he how a little he was underestimating the, the, the scope of the problem yeah well i mean and we also got to see just how strong like rouge is it too i mean the guy's well, taking the taking I think a giant the thing that we get to see is and sorry to cut you off and is how strong eris is has become yeah how her training Holy with galane like shit. you know she doesn't yeah. need anybody she don't need no man to be taking you know care of her anymore you yeah. doesn't need rudy or anyone like he put in fucking work taking Dude. out all those monsters like it mm-hmm. felt like rudy was the weakest of the group like if that's oh. what it feels like well i, I don't no, know about yeah. that sir i wouldn't say that ah, Dude, you okay. see him blast fight. Snake? listen man oh, but no, i mean those first <laughs> blast he was whipping all day yeah like, yeah like, man this man, this man has a 33 percent accuracy that's pretty ass <laughs> yeah when you have I, basically let's just say, i don't want this man on my valorant team i'm not giving him the op <laughs> you feel me no, look, is, he, like... is he a gunner or, or let's not let's get this clear right is, is, is rudy a gunner or is he a mage okay you have to understand the man's a fucking glass cannon okay i mean what rudy showed me is he can't be an, an in-game lead that ain't happening he tried that that <laughs> that got somebody killed he can't true, be you true. know hopping people he's got as brian said a, a 33 percent accuracy hit rating so it's like true but did he put himself well, there or did he have to like step up and be the guy i think it depends honest? Well, right. I, I think a big part of it depends on like who he's okay. actually facing. Like, if he's facing melee, like obviously, I think he's just get, he just gets burned because like I think we already kind of covered that. Like, he doesn't really right. have too much of an answer to uh, melee fighting, right? But uh, anyway, but no, even still, like if he's up against Ares, uh, he has no chance. Well, yeah, like, no, it's even even Galen mentioned that you know, like it's okay for Rudy to be afraid because he's a mage. He's supposed to be in the back line. It's yeah. up to like <laughs> people yeah. like like Eris, who's a swordsman, that they're meant to be up front and take the brunt of damage. Yeah. And mage is there to just add support with either whatever support spells they have or, or like attack spells right? or support. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you can't really blame the guy. It's a fastest moving snake, you know. Like yeah. right. I thought it was I thought it was cute too how when <laughs> Eris and Rugiard and Rudy killed the snake and Eris like taps on the the head to see if it's actually dead and she's like it's dead and she's gets you know this little smile on her face and it's again it's it's the small things that i i really appreciate with the different characters and stuff and even more so when that falco guy got you know torn in half uh when his group is walking away the guy has him like on his back to bring back his dead body and i'm just like damn like they didn't need to show that and it's just like it adds more to the world of like Hey, they knew what they were getting into. This guy died, and like they're bringing back the body to give closure to mm-hmm. whoever needs it. You know, if they had a family or whatever, maybe even closure for them. 
So right, right. It's awesome to see. Yeah, no, it's uh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I have really much more to say. What do you guys think of like how they like where they ended it? Because this was the last episode of the season. So in the oh, vein so of not. Naruto, you mean a Rougier <laughs> turning into a, a bald ninja? Yeah, he's now a shinobi. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. You probably brought it up too. He's on his ninja way with the rest of the group now yeah. hiring oh their own I'm actually, headbands. I'm 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 really. I know we kind of mentioned this earlier, but I'm I'm actually really glad that they actually they got past the part of them. You know where they they're all a team. They where they actually come up with decisions with with all like they're actually going to talk about stuff. And I just feel like it'll should go much better than uh, just one person taking the brunt. Like even like during this that, that fight with the Cobra, where Rudy was like asking uh, Rougier, you know, like can we do this? And Rudy was just like, I, I got this. Like this is easy. <laughs> like where it just it seemed like it was just like like this is before they kind of had like the conversation, but it seemed like Rudy was like you know reaching out for kind of questions, and answers, just to basically kind of get like a an idea of, like what's going on because he he was fucking up pretty hard earlier on. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. It's yeah. It's I, I feel like the ball, the ball, the shape head would probably go better, um, and also with the 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 bandana as well because it's it's or the headband because it's it's blocking the other eye as well. So I think we should be fine. Except I guess the only issue I would have is like you know if they if they do end up meeting up with the Roxy and the other two ventures, like will they see through that? Because I feel like. You know they because I mean they're like top notch, so I'm I'm assuming like you know will they be able to see through that? I think or will Rudy be able to like? I doubt it. I know. I I think even if they do, I think Roxy will understand. Like I think she'll trust like Rudy's instinct. So okay, yeah, that that's true. Roxy's there. They basically like she knows Rudy. Yeah, I think I think it should hopefully go fine. We can make assumptions this episode with the teleportation and Rudy in there. Okay. So um, I mean. And also, I mean, and also, we 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 knew before too that uh that we're yet uh twenty three episodes. So, but this this, this actually ended nicely, like because you know we had yeah. issues with ReZero though ended the way it, it the first part, whereas this one the split core ended really nicely. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a really nice ending. Um, they they they, they basically like, they they gave us kind of like some more questions, but they weren't like, but I don't know. It's it's tough to go with that because like you said, we have we have uh was it well, twelve more episodes. You, like I. See, for me, I always, I always consider split quarters as one season. So, I'm so glad okay. it's season one. So, okay, all right. So we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll figure out like where it goes from this. But no, it felt like it was a nice spot. Like we don't have to wait on any dumb in the middle of like a cliffhanger fight or anything like that. Or, um, it, this just felt like they were planning on it, like planning on ending it here, and it, and I think they did it really well. But overall, I mean, I, what did you guys give the sh- what, what would you guys give the show? Easy 20 time. out of 10 sir I mean, 20 out of 10 it's, maybe it's it's split core so i don't want to like i I'll, I'll wait till like end of season the, no end of david season, so. you can't cop that's out the... like that bro. Yeah, that's a cop okay out, bro. Cop we out. need an answer end of this particular part of this whole this, show okay. what you give it a what? score so far probably like at least at least a nine yeah nine at or... least yeah, bro maybe. at least a Whoa, 10 of your say that we're done here we're done here i was gonna give it like an eight and a half but maybe that's eight, like, <laughs> wow. find out where you live i will tell sasha <laughs> hit you up. Critical in terms of my ranking on scale on the 10, but don't get me wrong like you know i came in with expectations of like oh this might be like you know a six seven like just kind of run of the mill like you know your normal isekai and then yeah. It obviously turned everything on top of its head, and I was very pleasantly surprised. I think, you know, there definitely was some episodes though that wasn't a ten. It's not a ten out of ten every single episode. That's for, tough to do though for any for, show, you know. For, well, for me, it's no. like it's a good no. start. Yeah, right? could... so nice, like, but like a lot, a yeah, lot of. I think um... David's point. The, the bigger picture that could be now at play because we've seen, you know, from what Tizzle linked and Brian linked earlier today, you know, the, the map and the scale of the world that they're in. Yeah, everything having its own kind of you know purpose and reason. Like yes, and they're covering has, it too. Yeah, they they're actually covering it. Yeah, to yeah. Get to that so, nine ten that can give it. Yeah. I think for, it's too early. For, for me, it's like it's a good start, but like the way that the they set up, it's like we need the payoffs. So that's why. That's why I say well, I don't like giving yeah. a score for a split core because we need. It, it doesn't sound like I might even not get like this. The end of the next like 12, 12 13 episodes. Like yeah. But yeah, even like even with what we saw, like I thought so, animation was awesome, music was awesome. Um, but it's a good just, start. Like, like, yeah, yeah. I'm also kind of taking it with um, 
that was like I'm also kind of comparing it to other isekais as well, ones that came after it, where I feel like they still can't do what this show is doing, and this was like the OG one. Like you think that maybe if anything, like other ones would get better, but this one just feels like it's still so much better than all the other trash that we've seen. A mm-hmm. lot of the other ones, where it just feels uh, I don't know. It it I'm it's almost like oh god, it's. I don't know. It's I, I give it a ten actually, just because it's. Of I think this is like would. one of my top. This well, I, this I've actually been <laughs> wait, going wait, through wait, my wait. list. So, so when we go through tens and don't go like fully into it, but what is another show that is like a ten for you? Uh, just so like the viewers or myself can get a better gauge of like what. You, yeah, well, for me, it's more, a ten. For me, it's like um, God, it's uh. Let me let me get back to you. <laughs> All I know is I really like it. And it's basically like, I, I kind of read it like a quick explain of like I, I think it's more of like I read it to like compared oh. to like other shows that are like the same type that I've watched, where I just where I'll kind of gauge it with like how I felt about that one, and then just mm-hmm. like how much better it is, or I'll take it from like the ones that like people consider like the best of the best, and like and then just I can compare it to that one. But for this yeah. one, it's like I'm almost kind of going backwards because like like this was like the OG, and it's doing everything so much better than like a bunch of the other guys. And it's just like with those things kind of in where you get like uh where it just feels like we're getting like a bunch of like characters like fleshed out, like the world building that's been really good. Um animation's been I mean animation of course is always gonna be on my list as well. Animation and music. So okay, um, see, see this is why I hate I don't like scores because like because you're comparing hmm. uh, Isekai's when like when I'm pretty sure like like Justin wants to know like what's the score to other animes. Like so that's why I don't like Well, I mean I, I think I it's fair like that a... you you can have tens in different genres. Like that's very fair to me. Like sure, I wouldn't say like, you know a like ten yeah. in an isekai is going like, to be a ten no one, in a no one's like number romance scores is, series is this, or whatever. But... No one's number score is the same, so it's like and so that's I, yeah, and that's why I'm trying to hopefully like paint a picture been... both for ourselves and also for you know people watching. Yeah, yeah. you know everybody has their different scale yeah. and rating. Yeah, because what the, yeah because my I'm, obviously like my scoring is. Um, and, and I'm not saying like this is a way to like point and be like, oh, your scoring's wrong or anything. I'm just naturally curious, and I think yeah. that's something that yeah people would like to be incited about because you know yeah I know like you shouldn't really be comparing like to scores like within like a genre of other shows, but that's kind of like how I've just done it. And just like it also like it depends on like if the if the show has done what I expect the show to do. Like if it's basically like, a, like for me, it's like if it's like a really good rom com or if it's just like a slice of life. If it does its job for me, where I enjoy like all the episodes, like we're really it is what it is. Like it it's doing what it's what I was expecting it to do. I give it a higher score. Yeah. Like this no, is I think basically that's fair like, of, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what Mushoku Tensei did, and yeah. I can see oh, now yeah. why from that logic you give it a ten. Yeah, so and, a, and, a, and another thing is too, like I had such a low bar at the beginning of this season. And I, I did not really, I didn't really know what to expect, and I didn't actually expect too much besides like you know flashy, flashy animation, and maybe that's about it. Uh, and I also thought like because of it being like the OG, I thought like there's gonna be a bunch of flaws, and I haven't really seen that many flaws. So, yeah. So one uh, last thing, I'll, or go ahead, David. I was gonna say I was kind of same too. I thought um, it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be a lot of things that didn't age well. So yeah, I thought, oh yeah, I, I thought like, <laughs> yeah. So I thought I would enjoy it as much as I did now. So like it, it was yeah. definitely higher like. Uh, beat my expectations too. The rest so, is ahead yeah, I, I think that's the only one other thing that I would. I know I can't think in this mindset, but I want. I can't help but wonder, like, if I watch the show without like having that insight from like the hype of the fandom, and even furthermore, like from you know our previous YouTube videos, people yeah. telling us each week in the comments. And thank you guys so much for the comments as always. Oh. Um. You know, like, hey, you know, if you're liking this, you can't wait to see what happens next. And, you know, that admittedly does set this bar in your head. So I can't help but think, like, would I still walk away at the end of the day if I had no insight? I wasn't seeing what people had said about this. You know, I would think, I be like, oh, yeah, I this think, checked all the boxes. I think it would. I think but it would. I just don't yeah. know. Yeah. I, think, I think it would. It's, like, I think you, you have enjoyed, um, like, episodes here and there. And I think this last episode would have, like, would have, like, put all like the previous episodes into perspective so i think i think like, it would have been like almost the same yeah yeah because I, I think going into the show like i don't know if i really heard anything much besides uh from tizzle um just about the show um i think that he was really the only one that i looked into because I, I don't really <laughs> go to reddit or anything too much so i didn't actually really know what to expect um besides like i just only watched the trailer because that's all because i always watch like the pvs for new shows and i thought i thought it looked awesome but that's all i had because yeah. I've also thought a lot of other shows have looked very nice and been trash. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think it's definitely a, an interesting kind of thing that we now step into as these podcasts continue to go along. Now we have this, you know, continued conversation of 
anime yeah. original viewership mm. versus those who know the source material and how that kind of now plays effects into you know yeah but how okay. we're digesting and seeing these yeah. things so yeah but going so, forward my my rating is terrible so don't don't go by my, my ratings and stuff okay. like that if you want to you can follow my anime list though so and just uh then shit <laughs> on my uh quit my, plug my, my, there. my 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 so, uh, so that, that, that kind of shameless plug um anyone has any <laughs> closing thoughts because we, we need to wrap this up so yeah that's true Does anyone else want to give their scores and their explanations uh in all honesty i would give this a nine out of ten just because uh you have to be able to get through like all the etchiness from the first two episodes that will totally drive oh, away yeah, some, thing, yeah. some potential like watchers right and then as the as the series goes on it kind of dies off where it's not as severe but it's still somewhat there kind of like with these last two or three episodes there's only maybe a couple of instances where those like some perverted like moments in the show where it showcases like the bad side of rudy right where you remember that he's actually a 32 year old guy in a 10 year old body or a 12 year old body or whatever um but if you're able to get past that, make it to episode three or four, like the the world building, uh, you know, the plot, the characters, there is so much detail that's put into everything, I feel like, that makes it such a great show. And then, like, for me as a person who likes the etchiness and, like, these isekai worlds, like, I would really personally give it a 20 out of 10 just because I think everything <laughs> was hit perfectly for me, right? For me as a person. But I think normally, uh, like, from a general point of view, it's it does have its flaws. But I think other than the, like, with how etchy it is, it's actually, like, pretty damn near perfect with, with everything else, so. Comedy has been really good, too. But, yeah, a little, if anything, just, I think, but I think we all expected that there was going to be, like, etchiness. Right, um, but, to, but to a certain extent, though. Yeah, you know? right, right. Right, definitely. All right. Brian, you get the final word. <laughs> uh, I can't, I, I actually agree with Ku, like pretty much 100 percent what he said like overall i'd probably give it a nine like he said for etchiness aspect of this is a, like literally midlife dude in like a child's body so there's that um world building animation it's great animation is a little bit different than in the beginning you like automatically adjust to it uh action sequences the choreography of the fights are very well done the camera paneling is fucking phenomenal. Music's great. The world is great. Like explaining the background through like ancient stories and stuff. It's just genius. Even for like an OG of an OG of a series, it's like phenomenal. Like the edginess is fine once after a certain point. It's it's great. It's good. I mean, yeah. yeah. Also, like the Sir, opening sequence. Sir, well, this is through. Brian's last well, word. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. To your point, I was gonna add the same thing as Brian yeah. said. The opening sequences, yeah. now they don't make it like a thirty-second repeat every week. That makes it standalone enough in itself. So. Yeah, they yeah. give you more of the world. Okay. All right. Thank you, Brian, for the final word. We're ending here. Sorry. So Sorry. That's it for Sorry. Shoku Tensei. Always like for like every week. Thank you guys for all the the, the comments on our YouTube videos. Um, Classy Ulysses, Rohit G, and Ayush. I forgot you guys last week. I don't know how I did, but thank you guys. Code number twelve. F V A K H God Summer Jazz. Capital I or lowercase L? I don't know. That's all you had for your name. Azrael, Emperor Dark North, Ronan uh, Infinite Ones, Kirk, Smile Please, Tiger 10. Thank you guys for the comments for like the, for the podcast.